there's no more important work than this. You know, you're supporting bereaved families. You're trying to bring justice to bereaved families. You're trying to understand what's happened. Um, so you need the right people. You need the right level of resource. But it's extremely challenging right now. Yeah, and of course, we, you know, we've been talking here about road deaths and quite rightly so that that is um, something that is extremely traumatic for families. But we could be just below that and talking about those with catastrophic injuries, those uh, traumatic brain injuries or paralysis or loss of limbs, which, you know, whilst um, we, we've only really counted in the statistics so far or, or talking about the murder to death rate on the road. So that's only talking about those fatal collisions. There are thousands and thousands more where there's this catastrophic injury. And as the pressures uh, increase, it seems that more resource or the limited resource that's available deals with all of those fatal cases. And quite rightly so, that's not a criticism in any way. Yeah, the role of collision investigators, I think, deserves yeah, you know, real kudos. Um, and we've introduced things like now we're making it detective based unless you've really got proven experience and credibility in the field. I think that's to professionalise it in recognition that actually the work is on a par with murder investigation. Same thing applies on the forensic uh, side. Exactly that used to be and, and still is to some degree um, an element where if you're a really good traffic officer, that meant that you could measure some skip marks and calculate some vehicle speeds. And actually that's not quite true. That doesn't mean that can't happen. In fact, there are a number of cases up and uh, examples up and down the country where you've got really good collision investigators from that principle. But this is more and more about a scientific discipline. So instead of taking the exclusively the police um, background, you need to start throwing in some of the academic measures as well. I think when we're gazing into the future, autonomous vehicles are the thing that are coming over the hill at us quite quickly uh, and we need to uh, understand how we're going to deal with them. The biggest thing that I would like to see is actually uh, a legislation change, or not a legislation change, but specifically written into legislation that investigators will be able to get information out of those vehicles in a digestible way.